All right, guys, so I got a little review here. Um, we have a, a, a new Acer, I believe it's Acer Aspire 5. So I'm going to give you a little review on it. Um, I'm also going to show you installing actually 16 gigabytes of memory RAM because I'm going to upgrade it. It normally brings eight gigabytes total. One is, uh, is a RAM stick. And the other one, I guess, is soldered right to the motherboard. So you can never remove that four gigabyte stick. It just stays there forever. So the max you could do is 20 gigabytes on this laptop. And I have 16 there plus the four on the solder, 20. So we're going to take it out. I was going to do a review on, on because I'm going to install Sony Vegas 18 and render a 4K, see how it behaves. It has the i5 10th generation. But I'm not going to do that unless somebody actually in the com comment asks me to do it. So if you want to see or know how well it reacts with um, with Vegas 18, Magic's Vegas 18 Pro, and, and, and see how it renders in 4K, then just drop it in the comment section and I'll do that. But today, just an upgrade on memory and how it does. Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. So it actually... Now let's get you connected to a network. This. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. This is How crazy. How about the first one on the list? No. Want to use that one? No. This thing is crazy. I know you guys heard that. This thing was actually... I could set it up by talking to it. But I just wanted to show you that bit, okay? So I'm just going to set up the the windows because it's brand new and all that. And then I'll come back to you and definitely show you how to install the RAM and how the computer looks in the internal. Okay, guys. So one thing I didn't like with this experience, and I don't know if this is Windows, is getting very stupid. Because in order to do this setup, I had to actually, I had to, I couldn't skip. I'm adding a Microsoft account and if I didn't have one I had to create one even if later on you know once I get it all set up I could come back and take it off but I still if 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 I don't need it then why are they forcing me to actually make an account hey guys so I thought I'd show you what it has it does have Intel Core R5 102 10U which is the quad core and in hyper threading it, it goes to eight cores it starts 1.6 and I think um, the turbo is 4.2. But right now I'm finding this computer very slow for some reason. Maybe it's I got to go in BIOS, set it up. Maybe it's not running in all cores. So I still, because it's brand new. So we're going to see. Maybe they set it up just for efficiency, not for high performance. But I'm, I'm telling you, I'm finding it real, real slow right now. Real slow. So I'll get back to you again, because like I said, I want to show you guys this. I'm going to open it up, see if I can add another SSD and all that. But it just throw out, I'll, I'll just give you the info what's happening right now. All right, guys. So another thing I got to tell you, since of course it's a brand new computer, brand new. It needs updates and all kinds of things. It's like starting something for the first time. You know, you got to get that oil through it. So, um... I'm updating it. It just needs a lot of updates. Um, now I'm seeing that the processor is actually jumping. I see it going at um, 4.09 gigahertz. So it's starting to move. I was able to want to install what I wanted. And it did it super lightning fast. So um, I guess, like I said, it was the first, first, first run. Um, I'm running the antivirus. I'm um, going to try to update it as much as I can, um, check if the firmware is up to date and all that, and still we haven't done that, so I'll be doing that though, hoping the video is not too long, but I'm just keeping you updated about the performance of the of the PC, so, so far so good. Alright, so we're going to open it, as you can see this, one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe seven. A, nine, and ten. So, ten screws. So we're gonna open and see what it looks like inside. All right, guys. So as you can see, we got it open. Here goes the the RAM that we're gonna be replacing. 
Um, I don't know where is the, I think this might be that one maybe, the, the RAM chip. It might be that one, the one that's soldered. I'm not 100% sure, but it might be. Here's the RAM that we could remove. Of course, I believe the CPU to be in here. Oh, what happened? I thought the GPU was there. Well, there's no GPU. So I think to this, you could add a, a, another GPU there or something. Because I remember seeing it there, but maybe now that, okay, this one comes with the, the GPU on the CPU. That's what it is right there. Because for the other ones that bring it separate, you could put one right there. So maybe you could install it to this one. But um, also, hard drive, 2.5, you could put there, maybe an SSD. But I thought this brings the caddy and all that, but apparently they don't. So I think they do, see? This is missing screws. So that means the guy, right here, took it off. So I got to get me a caddy and the wire. And I'm going to put an SSD. So that will be next. But right now we're going to do we're gonna do the, the RAM. And come on, and even a novice will know for the RAM. You know what I'm saying? That you pull these things out, okay? You pull both sides out, and the RAM should go right up, okay? So I shouldn't be, see? I shouldn't even be talking about that. Also, in case somebody needs it, in case somebody needs it, you can see what type of RAM it is. So this is a four gigabyte, of course. PC4, 26, whatever. It says right on it. Um, I don't know much because RAMs are getting kind of crazy nowadays. So I don't know which one's going to be faster. You see how this one is confusing. It says 1R times 16. I have no idea, man. Some say 2 times 8, 1 times 8. This one doesn't say it, but I know um, it was a fast one. I picked a fast one, um, but I think it was um, two times eight DDR4. So you see it's 2602, 2666, um, 1.2 volts, CL19. Um, and we're going to try it. Now we're going to try to run it. Hopefully everything goes right, but... Um, like I said, um, if anybody wants to see how it runs with Vegas Pro, please leave a comment asking and I'll make a video, a review of the machine running with um, Vegas Pro 18 and also installing the SSD. If you want to see a video with the SSD, that'll be next. I got to buy it, order it and all that. Right now, I'm just going to do the RAM. So the same way you saw that I took it off, same way you just put it back in and close it and then that's it. So we'll see how it works. We put the RAM. Um, working fine. All right, let me open this thing. So there you go. It, it seems to be moving pretty nice, pretty quick. Now I got some of the updates in it. Opens, look at that thing's fast. I seen the CPU going kind of fast. Now, like I say, I'm going to install Vegas Pro and I'm going to be, I'm going to be looking into, into putting maybe a 512, um, gig, um, SSD. I'd rather put a 512 than a 256, even though it has the M2 NVM, whatever it's called, that, that SSD drive, which is like a stick. Um, so that's what it has now. It has a 512 gig, but I want to put a separate one to put like all my um, movies and stuff that I render on Vegas into that drive. So on to the next one, guys. This is, um, again, the Acer Aspire 5. It does have a... HD 1080 display, but I honestly don't see it. I don't see the great, um, the greatness of it. Um, okay. Look at that video. I don't know if you guys can see it. Holy snap. This thing looks, you almost look like if it was 3d. Okay. I take it back about the 1080 display. This thing. What do you think about this screen? Now? I gotta ask my wife because am I seeing things or is that how does that thing look? I'm watching right now 4K. This is 4K. And I don't I tell you, I don't know if this does justice to it, but the video looks like if it was look at that. Like if it was 3D. So okay. I 10 out of 10 for the video. Definitely.
full HD, I believe it. I'm watching it at 4K. So again, Aster, Aspire people, five. And of course, it has the Intel i5 10 generation CPU. Next again, is probably the hard drive SSD up, um, add on, not upgrade, because it has a better one, but I'm gonna add it on. And again, if you wanna see it running with Vegas Pro rendering at 4K, just leave a comment and let me know and I'll, and I'll show you how it works, um, how much of the CPU is using. I'm sure it's gonna use 98% or something. Don't forget to press the like if you enjoy the review and um, if you actually helped you to install the RAM and all that.